In the last few clips that we've been taping for osteopathy in the cranial field, we demonstrated the three basic holes, bolt hold, frontal occipital hold, as well as the sacral hold. We went on to talk about the SBS torsion patterns, um, which break down into two different parts, physiology and non-physiology patterns. Uh, the physiologic patterns are the torsions and the side bend rotations. The non-physiologic patterns are the compressions, the strain patterns, vertical strains, inferior strains, and lateral strains. Uh, I want to be sure that you go over and look in the atlas to get the specific details. We were just demonstrating what you are going to sense while you're actually palpating. In this clip, we're actually going to take that one step forward and we're going to perform certain techniques that you can use applied to the cranium. Okay, the first technique that we're going to be doing is the occipital condyle decompression. We're going to start out by placing our hands on the occiput on your patient. As so. You want to put the tips of your index, middle, and ring fingers as close to the bottom of the neck while still being on the occiput. Remember, you have a lot of muscles back there, so you're going to be pressing first through the trapezius, the semispinalis capitis, then down through the recti muscles, the posterior rectus capitis muscles, and eventually you're going to get down onto the occiput. In this technique, your first thing is to engage the tissues, so you're pressing down through all those tissues and muscles that I just mentioned. The next part of the technique is to apply a traction force, cephalad, as well as a lateral force. Once you hold this positioning, you will start to notice a softening of the tissues. To demonstrate that further, I'm just going to rotate the patient's head so that I can further illustrate what you will be seeing. So again, hands come in contact with the occiput, they engage cephalid as well as lateral. So again, cephalid and lateral. I'd now like to demonstrate the condylar decompression on the skeleton so you can get a, a better perspective as to what you're actually doing. Again, you're placing your hands on the occiput. Remember, you're pressing through the soft tissues, which means you're going to be pressing through your trapezius muscle, your semispinalis capitis, until you reach the smaller muscles, which are your rectus capitis posterior muscles, through those until you engage the occiput bone itself. At that point, you have both hands on the occipital bone. You're going to apply a cephalad traction force as well as a lateral traction force. So again, if you watch on, on the video, I pull cephalad and lateral. At that point, I just hold and wait for the soft tissues to relax 